right so this is first lesson in our uh, training workshop and inside this uh, lesson we are going to make a table from scratch we will uh, make an wooden uh, table this is uh, the file and uh, we uh, will customize the screen to make the view to be one millimeter and basic, uh, basically I have uh, make this to be an startup file we can make it from here control u defaults and save a startup file I have made a collection for the uh, element to be designed I have make a collection for the reference and have make a collection for uh, the lighting you can add uh, any collections such as you want uh, so uh, I will hide this lighting and hide reference and uh, I want to download uh, the image from here so this is the image that we will uh, make uh, and this is the first uh, product that we will make uh, inside this tutorial so uh, you can uh, download it uh, and uh, make it as a reference such as this alt or alt j and in the front view rotate in x axis but uh, this is an perspective view and we will not use it so uh, we will start from a circle and this circle will be let's say it will be here and it will be vertex around 24 and the radius will be because it may it will be millimeter so we can change it to be centimeter and the radius is one meter we will change it to be 35 and let's zoom in let's say that the radius will be again i think 40 centimeter will be fine and a vertex will be twin uh, to 22 uh, 28 and let's going to the vertex and extrude the scale extrude the scale many time and merge at center let's select this one and extrude in the d-axis such as this and going to the selected and let's add the mirror from here and it will be the z-axis I will select this and say it will be control alt shift c or we can go into object and make the origin make sure that you are in the object mode and set origin to be in the 3d cursor here we are and let's make a loop here and I will scale it down we can also uh, go to the subdivision surface and add a look at here so this is the uh, element is the first element and we can uv unwrap it let's start if we click uh, smart uv project you will see that this is our view let's uh, go here i will make an collection which is here i will name this collection to be temp and move this top to be here and duplicate this one and move to the first one which is the design all right I will move uh, it's now in the floor I will move to around one meter or 80 centimeter so moving 80 
something you thought it's not sure that it mentions is in centimeter and move 80 centimeter such as I will apply the modifier which is the mirror to uh, let us add and I will remove it for now and let's select it to be mark same and let's also select it to be mark as same and uh, one from in this behind we will add and loop here and dot loop here and let's apply to be UV unwrapped and if we go here we will see that we have this top surface and this bottom surface and this which is the border for us all right and now uh, I will make the legs for this table So let's uh, go to the, uh, the bottom view and select one of these vertex we have for legs. So I will select one of these vertex and make it such as this and add an, a cube. Then we will scale 0.5 and scale again 0.02. and move such as this then move in this axis and it looks fine but we will scale in the y axis around 2 and we will scale in y 1.3 1.5 and rotate 45 degrees in this direction and after that we will add a bevel modifier and uh, we can apply the subdivision surface but I think that it will be fine to apply the bevel modifier right and the offset will be 0.0 segment will be 3 after that we will add an array it will be 4 and let's add an empty in the center and we will name it empty to be circular array and we will make an object to be circular array Alright, I will delete the rim file for now and uh, select uh, this item. Make sure, make sure that the cursor will be in the center and uh, make sure that we have uh, it to be in the through the cursor. Then I will select uh, the object which is here. We can name it to be leg one and Alt D R Z ninety degrees. Shift R two times to make uh, the legs for now. I will select one, one leg and 
try to select the smart UV project to see what we have. And now we will uh, see that we, ha we have finally one element which is here, which is a link between these legs. So how we can make this, I will select uh, uh, one of these two legs and uh, make the cursor to select it and add an, a cube. And then I will scale this cube and this move in the Z axis and scale again. M uh, make sure that you have it to be bound bo in the boundary and move like this. So uh, we will move such as this. And let's scale in the y point two. And So I will select the lower face and after that we will scale in uh, the direction which is the local. So we will go in here and start to scale in the y axis to time. And rotate, rotate such as this. Rotate in the z-axis and rotate in the x-axis to time So after that, I will uh, try to mirror it in the x-axis using this object and using the MBT which is here. Or let's try to uh, select the cube and duplicate one time here. And select the two cubes and duplicate and rotate in the z axis 90 degrees. Here we are. I think uh, we must select all of, the, of these objects and go here and scale. So we have uh, finished the modeling of uh, this table. In the next lesson, we're going to see how we can apply the materials for this table. Right, so in the first lesson, we have make the modeling for this table. And inside this lesson, we're going to see how we can apply to the texture for this table. So it's very simple. We will add a material and we will name it to be wood or seamless wood or something such as this. And after that, we will say that the basic color will be an image. And we will tr try to open our image from here. So it's basically inside the texture folder, inside our main uh, file, and uh, we will try to select this one. So this is the color. We can go to the uh, shader editor uh, to see what we have here. So this is the world. We will not need it anymore, but we want the object. And after that, we uh, want a file for the bump map. We can use the bump or the normal map, anything will uh, do the job. But we, we, because we have the uh, bump map, we will try to duplicate it here and make it to be the height. And 
make it to be non color i think uh, the bump is very strong and uh, if we go here uh, we will see that in the viewport we have the bump uh, will be more than usual all right uh, so this is the uh, final file uh, after applying the texture as you can see the bump map uh, i have made the bump map to be around 24 and uh, the bump to be non-color and the ability to be srgb or uh, any of these values and we have increased the uh, file uh, I, think, I mean the uv mapping uh, to be scaled uh, up, up to this area right uh, so let's see what we have later i will apply also for this one the wooden and apply for this cube let's apply the scale and after that we uh, mask it uh, uv unwrap uh, such as any of these so after that we will say it will be wood and let's go here right let's uh, try to add the lighting or we can add it from scratch I will add an plane and it will be mean light such as this and this will be fill light and value of uh, one or something such as this and this will be the mean light and uh, we will add and background and after that we will add and extrude such as this then move from this axis and Let's add a um, background to be diffuse. All of this will be moved to the design, and all of this cube will be moved also to the design. So we have one element which is here. And all of uh, this also will be to the design, and all of this will be moved to be on the lighting. So we can uh, copy and let's duplicate collection. Uh, so we have this to be selected and move on the x axis. Uh, let's move on the global and move such as this and move on the sign and if we have the sign we uh, can make it scaled up and uh, let's remove all the remove all of these and make it another plastic This will be uh, so this big color will be point five and roughness will be point oh seven from a clear coat and let's select it to be here and
So one of these objects isn't selected. So I think now uh, we will our uh, circles uh, to make our final render, right? I will select this one to be a blue. And uh, we will select cycles uh, performance to be one. And all of these values are correct. So we start from 150. And let's try to select this one which is called uh, sub001 and we will select our camera and depth of field to be sub and it is sub just like this so let's see what we have the blades need will be 9 and the sub will be 1 Right, we will start from 1.4 and after that select uh, this hand to duplicate this collection and select this collection which is here, select object which Select object and move here. And this will be another color, or maybe red or anything of these. Right. So we are now ready to make one test for this image. So let's go into render and render an image. Uh, so this is the final image that we have got from uh, this uh, uh, first lesson. There is something to fix here, which is the noise. We can apply uh, the denoising and uh, increase the sampling from here to be maybe 500 or 1000 or we can using the denoising feature which is uh, important to apply from the buses denoising applies the denoising data and going to the compositing from here and uh, add the denoising so any of this will uh, do the job and let's uh, select it to be 500 and let's uh, increase also select the this one and going to the camera and Select if stop to be B1 and let's uh, going to render this image. So that's concluded for this uh, lesson. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you in the next lesson, which is the second lesson inside our uh, main workshop.